a lot of people say I'm arrogant, but the people that know me wouldn't say that I'm arrogant. Like, the people that say I'm arrogant don't know me very well. Uh, I'm not trying to brag about my own humility, but I wouldn't be what I would consider arrogant compared to, say, the mainstream guy. And I think a lot of people that are sort of against the whole pop culture uh, of the United States or the world today would say that me compared to them would be uh, night and day compared to arrogance. Uh, they would appear much more arrogant than I do. It might appear to you that I'm arrogant from watching my videos, but it, clearly there's no one else around. And I could just appear like I'm the expert. You know, not only that, I live in the stupidest county in Washington State. It's the best place I've ever lived. Uh, um, <clears throat> and I've lived in three different counties in Washington State, and I haven't lived anywhere else. I've traveled some places with my parents when they were travel agents, uh, like Mexico and Hawaii and Washington, D.C. and stuff like that. But uh, living in the stupidest county in Washington State is a bit of an advantage to me because, like, in Olympia, I'd be considered an average person. In Spokane, I'd be considered highly intelligent. And I usually am. I'm, I'm shocked by that. I could prove that. Uh, but if you're an asshole to me, I don't really see the need to prove that to you. Uh, I'll start proving some of these claims about myself once the uh, uh, upvotes are greater than the downvotes on most of my videos. Other than that, I don't owe you a damn thing. Uh, if you got a problem with me, take it up with somebody who could deal with it legally, because otherwise you'd be deep shit. Um, <clears throat> so, Spokane is definitely the best place I've ever lived, even though the IQ and level of compassion here is sort of low uh, being that the, the, the city is bigger than Olympia the hospital system is a lot better and uh, there are there's like five times more people here than Olympia so there's more intelligent people here than in Olympia and intelligent people that are compassionate and kind people than Olympia but, like, percentage-wise, there's more idiots and assholes here than anywhere else in the state, which is funny to me because I'll, like, turn around and I'll think that somebody is, like, yelling about me for some reason uh, because I have anxiety. And then I'll look and they're, like, yelling at, like, somebody else. So it's like, is that about me? Nope, that's not about me. <laughs> so... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of paranoia that comes around uh, when you're a left-wing atheist in a right-wing Christian town. Uh, even if there's a lot of like left-wing atheists around, just because it's the second biggest city in Washington State. And five times bigger than where I lived for 16 years. Um, my point is, is that Ben Stucker... Uh, who was running as the Democrat, lost to Nadine Woodward, who is a Republican, for the mayor of Spokane, and that sucks, but it's to be expected because it's Spokane. Uh, ben would easily win in any other county, but this is a, a vestige of idiots uh, that care more about image than helping people. If they can convey an image of Spokane as sort of a romantic city, which it is, uh, much more romantic than Olympia or Seattle, I would say, because it's very old-fashioned. Uh, but the homelessness problem here, uh, if they catch you being homeless, there is a possibility that you could get a $1,000 crime uh, fine and a jail sentence, which is stiffer than anywhere else in the state. And there's a larger percentage of homeless people here in Washington State in this county than any other county in Washington State and this is the only real Republican county in uh, Washington State. There are conservative Democrat areas like OMAC and Grays Harbor but those are still largely Democrat 
and have been largely Democrat for like over a century. Uh, Spokane is sort of a dumb fuck redneck town. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's not smart people any less than there are smart people in the deep south of the United States. And it's a bigger city for Washington. So there are a lot of like smart, kind people. It's just that the governance and the old money and the Republican nature of this town makes it a dumb fuck town. Uh, that doesn't mean that um, Ben Stuckert losing makes him look bad at all. I think... Nadine Woodward winning makes Nadine Woodward and, Woodward and the uh, Republicans look stupider than ever because we got Trump and then Spokane just went ahead and elected Nadine Woodward, who is a Republican. Uh, so that, Spokane makes zero sense to me. It, it's still one of the best places that I've ever lived, even though it's fully ridiculous on a lot of levels. <laughs>